Today we're doing the only food that Koreans eat when they're sick, that's chuk. I was kind of surprised we did so many different varieties of chuk, but we forgot to make the most standard chicken chuk. This is how to make it very simple because I know the last thing you want to be doing is opening up a whole chicken. It's going to feel like Thanksgiving. So next time you're sick and your face feels like this, don't call your mom. Just make it yourself. As promised, we're going to work with something you're familiar with, chicken breast. Let's do two old chicken breasts. You can also use chicken thigh. If you use chicken thigh, it probably tastes even better because of the skin. It releases a lot of good oils and the broth turns even deeper. I'm going to just put a little bit of mirim. If you don't have mirim, you can just skip this step. This is just to get rid of any of the chickeny smell. About a half a tablespoon over both. Just give a little toss in the mirim. While that soaks, we're going to bring a pot of water to boil. I know you're going to want to just go by feel, but this part muster up the energy to pick up that measuring cup and we want four cups. That's one and four. This is going to give us enough broth so that we can have some for the next morning or for your next meal. Flame on. Now let's make some chicken broth. Get that in there. Good. We want four garlic cloves. We'll chop off the little stem part because that gets bitter. Give these guys a little smash and into the sea. You too. And now our chicken broth is slowly forming. Good. We'll carefully move our aquarium to the side. We have to prep just a few vegetables. Start with the carrot. Let's dice them into thin rounds first, then julienne them, then finally dice it. How much am I using? It should be around five tablespoons. That's one. Five tablespoons of carrots. Then we have some Asian chives. You can see the leaves. They're very slender and flat. We're gonna need around two stalks. If these are hard to find, just use regular chives as well. Once the pot is boiling, reduce to a medium heat and set a timer for five minutes. Now when you're sick, the best thing is to use some hepan, which is these microwave instant rice. Let's pop it in the microwave. And after five minutes, I want you to fish everything out, including the garlic pieces. Then we're gonna add in our carrots. All right, and that rice came out to exactly one cup. We'll add that in. Now it's bubbling too hot. I'm going to reduce this so we get a gentler simmer. And then we're going to hang back and work on the chicken until this broth reduces by about a half. It'll take around 10 minutes, so set a timer. Now don't be shy. Get in there with your hands and try to shred it finely. This shredding action is reminding me of Costco's $4.99 roasted chicken. Still the best deal this century. Just got to walk to the back of the store and hopefully not buying anything else on your long trek. <laughs> And after 10 minutes, look at those bubbles. They look a lot uh, creamier or heavier for the lack of a better word. Then we're gonna add two thirds teaspoon of kosher salt. I'm purposely under seasoning this because some people like their chuk along the bland side. We can always add more salt at the end. Then we gotta get a little bit of our greens in here as well. We'll get our Asian chives as well as our chopped green onions. I'm gonna save just a little bit for garnish at the end. Then of course, we're gonna finish off with one tablespoon of sesame oil. It's already looking very flavorful. I think we'll give it around five more minutes because I want it slightly more reduced. All right, it's been around five minutes. I'll turn off the heat now and take a look. Oh my gosh. That spoonful right there, if you're sick, it's gonna provide so much energy to you and it's so simple to make. Allow me to go in for a little taste. Great flavor, but it's slightly bland. But again, I like to keep this master pot a little bland. We're gonna serve this out into mini bowls and then we can put a little bit more salt. We're out a few servings. A few touches of salt here. Again, season to taste. Touch of soy sauce on top and a little bit of sesame oil over the top as well. Hit it with a little bit of sesame seeds. Grab your big spoon, and that's it right there. Woo! Take a big bite, and I want you to get your energy back now. Mm. So good. All right, neighbors, I hope you enjoy. Oh, there's one thing I forgot. Very, very important. Very, very important. Non-controversial at all. Yes, and I have seasonal allergies or that uh, hay fever and during these temperature changes if I don't have this on and a little achu comes out the Korean eyes, it's like they, they look at me like um, with disgust. Mm. 